Championship pay-per-view action alongside my partner Teddy Atlas. I'm Joe Tessator. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This the site of our championship fight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Muhammad Ali 
Ali's poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fighter. In the blue corner, hailing out of Philadelphia, Andre Vitsha. And he's a opponent across the ring, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time, We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Bishop's feeling pressure. And he has to be feeling the pressure because all the talk all week has been about the knockout streak. He's won every fight by knockout. Well, there's been a little other talk, too. They've been talking about how the national anthem is usually longer than his fight. <laughs> a well-placed overhand right. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Scores with the combo to the head. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Ali's a smart fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. You know how many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence, they don't know it? He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. Now hugging on the inside. Locks away that headshot. Well placed, well timed combo up top. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Gets rid of that body shot. Ali's got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. Piercing jab. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is key to victory tonight. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Wow! That is a big, big punch that just put him down. And right now he's thinking about whether or not he wants to do this as a living. One, two, three, four, five. Ali's rising back up. That takes some guts. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. It's okay, let's go. Good job protecting himself. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop. And here he's putting it to good use. That's a nice right hand that time. What a big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Take your time out. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Rashes home with a hook. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good, biting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. And now he scores well with a straight right. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Able to land the hook to the head. Accurate up. Did you see that? How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know what 
Muhammad Ali has left, but I do know this. He's getting up, and he's going to find out. Stay away from the inside. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And banging away he goes. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. He is swinging away even though he's in bad, bad shape. And he's going to leave himself even more open by swinging. He'd be better off getting those hands up and trying to weather this storm defensively. Ali's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as your opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Big, big shot comes crashing home. I'll tell you, what a great job by Muhammad Ali's opponent that time. Listen, Ali's the better fighter. Ali's got more experience. But just going out there and making it happen, throwing enough stuff, sometimes it works.
delicious every time. What great work leaves out of the way. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Twelve rounds among heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Bishop's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. is making his way to the ring now and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. minutes still ahead of him here round one of 12. i wonder if the knockout streak will continue here andre, this is a tough moment for andre solid andre bishop blocked by that power punch. bishop is down Andre Bishop's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there while... Big, big shot he just scored with. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Yo, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually Two, set up this three. knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. <sighs> Cut. Nice work by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Way to block there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Big shot there. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? The ref reaches the count of 10, a first round knockout, Teddy. You know, Joe, I always tell my fighters that first round, the most dangerous round, you gotta be ready for the most dangerous thing to happen. You gotta come out quick. He was not ready for that. Danger happened, and it happened early. Now to make it official, we send it up to the ring. Bishop's your winner, and that means still champion of the world. A flawless performance.
ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to our World Championship pay-per-view action. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan, home to this championship fight. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Bishop's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. He's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Introducing first, in the middle corner, hailing out of Philadelphia, Andre Bishop. And his opponent across the way, by the way of Denver, the kid Dempsey. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. The Naturals is a real treat for these fans, a pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised. Oh, things opened up and he was able to place the right hand well. If you are the fighter with the lower stamina, and you know it, going up against a guy who can really go the distance, how do you go after it right from the gate? Well, I don't know that you go after it right from the gate, because then you're basically telling your opponent, I have no chance. I'm desperate. I think you go out there looking like you're ready to go the distance. Maybe he'll start to slow things down a little bit and worry about the late rounds himself. Resourceful hook by Andre Bishop. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Bishop's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Right to the belt line. Comes across with a hook up top. Up top with the right hand. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Looking right hand after he got, and just like that, things, there it is, and a big punch puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. Flush right hand to the head. Oh! He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. And it's all over. The Naturals giving these fans a here, a first round knockout. Fireworks early explode in round number one. arm to be raised in victory he's still the champ well he got the kind of fight that he wanted took advantage
here as we welcome you to this live pay-per-view extravaganza. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center, just off the Vegas Strip, the site for our championship fight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Andre Bishop so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Patterson's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Everyone knows what can take place with this guy. Bishop's knocked out every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he gonna act then? Patterson scored upon by a left hand. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Andre Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Teddy, what kind of a pace of a fight do you think we're going to get tonight? A lot of action here. Now look at him. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, One, pulled out into two, a world of trouble, three, a world of punches. Five, so he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Bishop scoring with that right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Bishop's able to defend his title. Thanks for being with us tonight. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying, enjoy the rest of your evening.
Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. A very highly anticipated rematch in our main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Bishop's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. He's ring walk. Just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. In the blue corner, King of Philadelphia, Andre Bishop. And he's a moment across the ring by Lynn Denver, the kid, Dempsey. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. The excitement in the air is palpable, and the fans have good reason to be. Bishop's won every single one of his fights by knockout. And I think the anticipation in the air is twofold. One is, are they going to see another knockout? The other is, what happens if he hits his opponent and he's still there? And a right hand lands flush. We've talked about this time and time again. When you get these two mentalities squaring off against each other, it should be a brawl. Yeah, the old timers would say about these guys, they get insulted if you miss them. A well-placed left hand up top. The other day when we were talking to Andre, oh, he just stayed up. Solid. He is down for that left. get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul oh that's gotta hurt and he goes down again will he get up from this <laughs> Play of 
power here. A first round knockout, Teddy. That's what happens when you don't warm up well. It looked like he came out a little dry, and now he's going to the shower. For the official particulars, we send it up to our ring announcer. Bishop's fine work in the ring tonight keeps that title belt secure around his waist. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.